Our talk will be uh, based on this paper, Retroactive Data Structures, from Eric Demain. And now, now this uh, event did not happen, right? But we want to overwrite, and now we immediately uh, change the present here. But we change the present itself, we cannot have two timelines. Uh, this is the persistent data structure, persistent. And this is the retroactive data structure. This is uh, called a partially retroactive data structure because we're only interested at the present, what, uh, what has changed in the present. So notice that we're not interested at how it got to the present. But there's another, again, we add an event, but I want to query sometime in the, in the past as well. So not only that I'm interested in the present, I'm interested as well in the past after changing an event. This is called a fully retroactive data structure. Uh, the most difficult data structure of them all. Uh, in this paper, uh, they proved that uh, there's no gen, I mean, there's no general way of create, of taking some data structure and making it fully retroactive without, uh, so there's no general way of doing this. So sometimes it will cost you a lot 